Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, welcome to Oilers After Dark, real Oilers talk for the real fan. Oilers win 6-4 to four over the Carolina Hurricanes. Before we get into a deep dive of the video, I'm going to just give you a rundown of the goals, how they happened, and who scored what. First off in the first period, the lone goal scored by Zachary Hyman. Assisted by Barry and Hopkins, making the Oilers up 1-0. Stayed that way, early second period. Smeshnikov, with his first of three, makes it 1-1. McLeod, shorthanded goal, 2-1 Oilers. Evander Kane helped out, making it a 3-1 Oilers lead. Don't blink, still in the second period. Smeshnikov scores the second goal of the game for the Carolina Hurricanes, 3-2. Stayed that way going into the third period, where Ryan Nugent Hopkins puts the Oilers up by two early in the third period. Not to be outdone, Smetchnikov gets his hat-trick goal on the power play. It is 4-3 Edmonton. Two minutes after that, Dreisaitl with a power play goal has the Oilers up 5-3. Nikis gets another power play goal for the Carolina Hurricanes. We have a 5-4 game. Somebody besides Smeshnikov gets a goal. To end the game, Connor McDavid in empty net put the Oilers up 6-4. Play little Bumba, baby. Let's go. Next game, St. Louis, Saturday at 2. Should be a good one. Overall, Oilers played Oilers hockey. They didn't fall behind. They didn't struggle. They didn't panic when... Carolina tied the game. They played a so I'm going to say they played a full 60 minutes. There were some things you can clean up. Yes, there's some giveaways that shouldn't have happened, but it's hockey. You're not going to be perfect. You can't expect everybody to be perfect at all times. That's where you need a goalie. Jack Campbell making saves that he made and making those saves. He made 36 saves on 40 shots. He did what he had to do to keep the the Oilers in the game and eventually have the Oilers win the game. Now, our defense is still our defense, and it's still choppy back there. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but hey, we take these wins. And it's like I was talking to people on my live stream, if you didn't watch it. The Oilers played down to competition, like Arizona's, Buffalo's. And they play up to competition, like the Carolinas, the Torontos, the Washingtons, the Bostons, the Tampa Bays. So, with St. Louis coming in on Saturday, as I mentioned, at 2 o'clock, will the Oilers play up to the competition, or will they play down? We can't expect them to be grinding 82 games, but at least play to the potential of 82 games. Put in a full 60-minute effort. 82 games. Effort. That's all the Oilers did was put in effort. We don't expect them to score six goals a game, but we don't expect the other team to pot in six goals a game against the Oilers on a daily basis either. All in all, the team looked good. Goaltending was fabulous. And it, it, it was what it needed to be for the Oilers to win. They didn't win beautifully, but they won. That's honestly all you can say is they won. They, uh, the Oilers took 33 shots on goal, went 2 for 5 on the power play. 20 block shots, 15 giveaways. The player of the game was Hopkins. They, that If you couldn't give the player of the game to Campbell... You, you give it to Hopkins. One goal, three assists, plus one. Two shots on goal, three hits, one block shot, one giveaway, one takeaway. Face-off percentage needs to be cleaned up, 25% on a face-off. But where, like, Dreisaitl, 63% on a face-off. McDavid, 56% on a face-off. For years and years and years, my biggest gripe has been our face-off work needs to be better. Our own zone face-off work needs to be better. That cost us a goal against Calgary. Was that 
face-off loss in our own zone, back of the net. Um, yeah, really not much we can say. Four-point night for, for Hopkins. As expected, a four-point night for McDavid. Two-point night for Hyman. Two-point night for Dreisaitl. McLeod gets off the snide. King gets off the snide. Bouchard has a point. Barry got a point. Defense looked good. Wait, there's not much you can say about that game. That game was an Oilers hockey game. That game was an Oilers home game that we expected to see against Calgary that we expected to see in Vancouver at the start of the game against Buffalo. Like, we expect this team to do these things. Like, it's just flat out. We expect it. Now, of course, the negative, I guess you can put, is Pugliarvi yet again just not playing up to standards. I don't know. He had one shot on goal. But other than that, it's zeros across the board. Like, zeros. I get you're playing on the fourth line, third line. But... Your line isn't like zeros. Just zeros. You need to be better if you want to be top six. No matter what line you are on, you cannot get zeros. Aside from one shot, you cannot get zeros. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. We'll see you Saturday at 2 o'clock, live stream on the YouTube. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.